What's up, North Star Mixed Martial Arts students and students abroad, yeah. as we enter this new age of information and uh, training. Um, today's lesson is all about proper squeeze mechanics. And if there's one thing that I see, even people in the intermediate range of experience get a little bit incorrectly, it's how to squeeze properly. And um, you'll notice that some, most of the mechanics in good squeezing are gonna be viable for whether you're um, choking or attacking like a straight leg lock, okay? Also, uh, control points like keeping a Kimura tight or pulling an arm bar, squeezing that arm bar tight to your body, anything where we're sort of, uh, in this gym we refer to it as the power zone, anytime we're really keeping something to our chest in the power zone, we're gonna proper good, uh, excuse me, uh, exercise proper squeeze mechanics as well. And so let's identify the major mover here when it comes to squeezing. And, and um, later in this video, I'll have my, my wonderful assistant, Timbo Slice, uh, get squoezed a bit so that we can show you how it works. But I'll sort of demonstrate like a bad squeeze. And, and when we get to the ink lock, you'll, you'll definitely see this. A bad squeeze is like here. Notice the shoulders are forward and we're squeezing, squeezing super hard with the bicep, holding our breath very tight. But you notice that little space right here wide open, no good. So the major lever we want to pull is scapular retraction, okay? So scapular retraction is essentially just bringing your shoulder blades together, just like that. We'll do some exercises in this video so we can sort of learn how to identify and strengthen the muscles involved in that movement. But right now, let's just talk about identifying that movement and sort of understanding what it means, okay? So again, we're not traps and biceps here squeezing in, you can imagine you're gonna take your shoulders and you're gonna pull them down at a diagonal, right? Because a lot of times people squeeze their shoulder blades together, but they're kind of engaging those shrugging muscles, right? So we wanna pull those shoulder blades down and together, just like that. Notice how much my hands move just by moving my shoulder blades. So we're really tightening that rope when we start to engage those back muscles. So for our ankle block, our rear naked choke, that's the major muscle group right there. It's really squeezing in tight. And as I said, later on, I'll show you how to finish either the ankle lock or the choke with just one hand. Because this part of the squeeze, what we normally associate with the squeeze, is actually secondary to this movement. So I have a, a tool here that I like to use to sort of show people if they're having trouble identifying those muscle groups. Um, this is just a dowel rod. You can use a broom, you can use a shovel, <laughs> whatever you got lying around, right? Um, this is an isometric movement and we're not necessarily looking to strengthen the muscles, although I, I assume you could do that. This is just sort of feeling the muscles. Anytime we have a, access to a mirror where we can kind of watch for whether our shoulders go up and down, that's gonna be helpful too. So right about in line with my shoulders, I'm gonna grab the dowel rod, place it right on my belt line pulling my elbows in. I'm gonna try and pull this rod through my body, just like that. Right? Notice if I start to squeeze with my bicep and shrug up, the bar kind of wants to move in this direction, but I wanna pass it through like I'm cutting myself in half. So elbows engaged, shoulder blades engaged, just like that. And you'll notice if I start to shrug those shoulders, you're gonna feel the dowel rod move upwards. So you really just want to focus on, uh, it's gonna, your, your shoulder blades are gonna be moving together in the back like you're pinching something, but it's gonna feel like they're moving down. So I think that's a, a useful cue, is to pull those shoulder blades down as you squeeze together. All right, so of men, there's, there's dozens if not hundreds of different exercises where we can kind of work on those pulling muscles, but a really simple one is just our standard bent over row. I'm gonna use a kettlebell. You can use anything that's heavy. It doesn't even have to be that super heavy. Dumbbell, kettlebell, your dogs or cats a little overweight. Go ahead and use those. Baby brother, husband, wife, whatever you guys want, right? You gotta be resourceful in these times. So, key points here. We wanna make sure that we're not just using that bicep. So notice, I want you to watch the shoulder, right? I'm gonna start with my shoulder a little bit out and I'm pulling at the elbow. Really just pulling at the elbow. You'll see the shoulder blade 
move backwards. Anytime we're sort of doing exploratory movement or squeezing movements, um, I really prefer slow, controlled uh, exercises because when we're squeezing a neck or squeezing an ankle, it's not like a, an explosive movement. It's sort of like a slow burn sometimes where we squeeze. We want to be able to increase pressure over time. So we're here, right? Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, Tim and I were just hanging out here, but now is a great time to talk about squeezing mechanics as it you know, uh, relates to the ankle lock, and wouldn't you know it, we're all scissored up anyways. <laughs> so check it out. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all of these techniques using like at least the chokes and the ankle lock using one arm to sort of illustrate this idea that like it's not the squeeze here in the arms that matters, it's that like scapular retraction that we talked about earlier. So I'm gonna set up my ankle lock here. Right. Um, there's definitely a sweet spot on the ankle that you gotta find. You definitely want your blade of your form on the ankle. We're not really gonna talk about that right now. So if you are terrible at ankle locks, you're gonna have to work on that. And that's just something that takes time and a little bit of um, experience to sort of figure out what works best for you. Um, but I'm gonna set up my ankle lock here. Now, I'm gonna start with like crappy ankle lock first. I want you to pay attention to my elbow on the mat here. So I'm gonna lock up both hands, and Tim's got like, no offense dude, you got like cankles, right? He's got these like tree trunk, they look like fire hydrants. <laughs> like somebody threw, a, somebody threw a sheet over a fire hydrant, that's what I'm, what I'm grabbing here. So um, he's not gonna tap just because it hurts, right? So I'm gonna squeeze the hell out of his leg just using my arm, and he's probably just gonna laugh at me. <sighs> yeah, I almost gave myself an aneurysm there, right? Legitimately, like I was squeezing really hard, right? He's not gonna tap. And that was with both arms, both arms locked up. The reason it's not gonna work is because my elbow's on the mat here. That prevents my shoulders from touching. But as soon as I get my shoulder on the mat, are right, you ready? Check this out. Ah. <laughs> He's still laughing, right? So again, it's, you'll see the difference. Just watch his face, watch his face. Okay, pay attention to his face, but I want you to see my back. <laughs> right, you feel the difference, right? When I watch as I start to put my shoulders together, so that's just that's just my shoulders engaging. Now when I engage my shoulders and my hips, it's an easy tap on the ankle lock. Super easy, right? So it's sort of like in jujitsu, we want to make sure we're not focusing on the wrong things, or the expression is don't major in the minors. Um, it's that scapular retraction. Now let's let's spin around. We'll go into um, a Wolverine choke. Back. Cool. So, same sort of concept here. You know, especially when we're in that gable grip uh, rear naked choke, it's going to be really common in MMA when you have the MMA gloves on, and it's going to be tough to get that really, really tight rear naked choke. So I'm going to show it here. All right, we fall to the strong side, and if I just start, and he's probably going to tap anyways because it's a neck. But if he was fighting for his life, give me, give me some resistance. I'm squeezing as hard as I can. You notice I'm not engaging my shoulders and my hips at all. He's chilling, right? So now I'm gonna release this hand, get my feet into position, right? And there it is. Shoulders together one more time. Feet in position, shoulders together. <laughs> Until you really feel the difference, either like having somebody apply it on you and also applying it on somebody else, you're not gonna realize how much of a difference it makes, but it's huge. Okay, so again, here for the ankle lock and that uh, Wolverine choke, even any, any choke, rear naked choke, whatever, we wanna engage that back. Um, we're gonna show two more techniques here that sort of illustrate this principle. The next one is just a Kimura, when we talk about Kimura control, okay? So can you go on your side right here? Yep, just like that. So we get to this north-south position, right? And I have my double wrist lock. Now, a lot of people, if, if uh, give me like maybe 30% resistance on the arm, okay. he's gonna wanna keep his elbow tight to his body, right? So I'm, I'm like trying to lift and pull. Yeah, don't wanna pull your arm off like that. Uh, not gonna work. He can, he can resist this all day. And notice, I'm not engaging those shoulders at all. But as soon as I 
lock it in. You can feel the difference right here. As soon as I engage those shoulders, now his arm is connected to my chest. So instead of fighting against sort of the elasticity of my arms here, he's gonna fight against my deadlift muscles. Boom. And there's your tap. Super simple, right? So even if I get this Kimura up and he regain, he re recovers, right? I just reattach, re-squeeze, pop, pop, and we're good to go. All right, it's all in the shoulders. Last one, we do a standing guillotine, all right? For the standing guillotine, I want to identify three major things, right? Number one is that shoulder retraction. Number two, nutcracker, elbow to ribs. Number three, cigar cutter, right? So we're pulling, squeezing, and cutting at the same time. If I just try to lift up and squeeze with the biceps, he's just gonna give me a good posture. He's gonna look up at the sky. No good, it's never gonna work, right? So, nutcracker, cigar cutter, scapular retraction, and tap, really simple, okay? So small adjustments, even just sort of learning how to move your shoulders properly is gonna increase your submission rate for chokes, uh, kimuras, arm bars, anything where we connect to the limb, which is pretty much everything, right? So this is Timbo Slice, Coach Jackson. Nice shirt, Key is nice and crispy. See you next time.